Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome, back. welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, Alakal is dead, unfortunately. Why is she back? I want to talk to her, do the quest, but as I said, I'm not doing the side quest. Will the crime lords cackle with glee? Virtuous law abiding citizens are cowering in fear. What's become of our once great nation? When did morality become the butt of the joke? I alone can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry! I am Sota Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change! Damn. After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice, that kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Kume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Hmm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Report. Let's get him. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Wait. Don't I know you? Uh-oh. Yeah. You were a bodyguard in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. He doesn't want to do this, do you? Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot. Wait, we're doing this right now? Yeah, let's do it. Well, I don't think this is a good idea, guys. Try this. We're gonna do a fight quite probably in front of. Really a lot of crowd. But unfortunately it's probably gonna backfire in no matter what. I'll show you. Oh if I can just do this. Oh wow, well, I didn't actually get any bites that nice on me. You sure you wanna get hurt? Nature is about to get furious. Oh that guy being shot, listen. Cool. There we go. What? Oh no! Three job I feel the stats going up. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm getting stronger. As it's a flying swallow. Okay. <laughs> you thought you could interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. Who are you? We're in trouble. Oh, we're screwed. More Omi boys than I can count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. What? I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who you say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debates. 
Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? I can't read that. 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that in fact prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. Wait, that was ironic? It wasn't on purpose to talk straight to us? This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election, after all but pulling the trigger himself. It's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Oshima? Or, I can't speak English. Chairman? Chairman? So, you figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Eh? Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? Wait. The task I... A candidate? Oh, finding a candidate. Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Well, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Yeah, lay it on me. Kasuga, you should run. What? What? Thank you. I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second. Back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Now well, the money doesn't matter. It does to me. Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. And when they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to them. So if I run in the election, 
I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody. What they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly, and public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time. For murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then I'll do it. Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry. Let's run! Where's the election office anyway? In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! Wait a minute. This is their big plan? They think... <sighs> the best course of action is for Kasuga to run as a French candidate. Like... I don't know about you all, that's pretty dumb. You know I can do a three million? I don't know what I'm asking. That's fine. It's a lot of people. It's a couple of seedlings. These all gonna be seedlings. It's cold. I should have worn some tights. And while we're on the subject, what's the difference between tights and stockings? To put it loosely, stockings are thin and tights are thick. That's it, huh? Nah, I guess it's uh, like how boxers are different from boxer briefs. Huh? Those are different? Hmm? Uh, actually, they're uh, not really that different, are they? Well, I mean, boxers are more like shorts, aren't they? Don't bring shorts into this! All right, that just makes it more confusing. I guess we don't know shit if we can't tell the difference between two pairs of underwear. <sighs> Hey, don't beat yourselves up. It's just underwear. But what are these that I'm wearing? Wait, I don't want to see that. Uh, what the freak was that? So, we... I don't... What? No, oh, there's that three million that I... Worked hard <sighs> that was exhausting. I was like, what more for? I swear, I never not imagine that could be that many. Well, of course. You know exactly right for city council. I'm just glad we made it on time. Hey. You see that gas space? He's about to snap. <laughs> well, no way has a last minute arrival, but it worked out thanks. Don't act like it's over. Paperwork should be game tomorrow. We hit the campaign trail. We we'll the campaign trail. Don't have the campaign do, huh? Not do, gonna actually. happen. Committed the rest of the site. Don't recognize you as a candidate. The plan will fall apart. Ah, oh, crap. She's right. <sighs> How was for the campaign, though? Blue Van or even a megaphone. Well, then you better figure it out. I'm with Sacha, I'm gonna take this seriously. We'll figure it out. <sighs> yeah. Someone's following us. Wait. You're the. Why are you there? <sighs> this is such a time. Well? Let's go back to the bar. Cause like I said, I'm not worried about bonus objectives right now or anything. Come on. Part of So do that. We. What else stupid this is gonna be? Ah, uh, too bad. We're gonna move on.
Hmm? What is this? <sighs> you must be taking this camp now. You already found I'm running? Saves me the trouble of having a campaign strategy. Good thing? Now the whole thing's there about your criminal record. Don't worry about it, man. I mean, for the point I'm hiding the truth anyway. <laughs> I see they already have you in their sights. Taco Bay? Hmm? Tell me like you had something. Tell me who that would be. This beauty. The old corp would sell things out of, but you can use it if you're like, huh? for real? We could get a microphone and a loudspeaker, and we dug those out of our own strip clubs warehouses. It should be at least a fair bit of legitimacy, because we can't run from you now. Thank you. Dude, <laughs> now we're talking. Take care. Can we get, can we have this kid will give a speech at Hummock the Park today? <laughs> nice. We'll corner him there, make him take us to the unmask. <laughs> Good luck. Where are you going? You're not a driver? Well, let's just get in the car, roll over the park whenever you're ready. I feel like we're about to get a long cutscene, so I feel like next time we're gonna end things up here. Next time we got the Zealot Dragon, we're gonna go play spoiler.